Hey, welcome back to Survival No Man's Land. So, we went ahead and loaded up those trees in the, the new field that we plowed with the uh, silver bullet. A large field. And we're just running them down here to the shop. Um, we were talking last episode about trading in the van and this trailer to get ourselves a stump grinder and a different trailer. Uh, a grain trailer that we can convert to a flatbed to still haul stuff as well. So, I mean, the van's definitely seen some work. Let's get up here. Oh yeah, and it snowed. $2,500 off those trees, $2,430 off those trees in that field. So, well, I hate to do it, but we're not moving back to the city. And the van, uh, and this trailer, they've been good. But I think it's time to move on away from them. Let's pull them on in here to the shop. We're saying farewell. mods for free <laughs> I saw love on the back or is it love lave me yeah we've definitely scratched it up with all the trees huh Let's repair it for 84, so 22,643, 22,736, and if we repaint it, will it give us over 25? Oh. Oh well, we're still getting more than we spent. Bye. Alrighty, well the trailer doesn't need any repairs. And I don't think repainting it's going to get us, what, 10, 70, 7, 1,082 or more. Let's repaint it and see. Oh, 1,088. Yeah, we made a little profit. Alrighty, they're gone. <laughs> they're gone. But, let's go over here and talk to old Susie. I don't think, like I said, I don't think she's been home. She looks stressed in the same clothing. They've got her working like a, like a hard working woman. 
All right, so first things first, let's get the trailer that I was talking about. See, I downloaded a couple of different ones as well. This one goes up to 10,000 liters, but it's one of those are the, uh, has the dolly built onto it. Here's the ones I was talking about. You can make it a bell trailer. And as long as you can strap, I'll be happy. Looks like there are straps on it. And then you can go all the way up to 18,000 liters in it. But it is also an articulating. Let's, let's see what else there is real quick. So 12,000 liters. And... Auto load for pallets normal. What's extreme? I don't know. Well, we'll go with auto load for pallets extreme. As long as we can strap, that's all I care about. But we'll buy it at the 12,000 capacity so we can um, increase it as we need or should I just go with 8,000 for now and we can always increase it again oh it's free to change the color too there we go It'll match the other tractor. Yeah, I think we'll go with uh, 8,000. Um, that covers 500. 11.5. Yeah, let's go with the cover just in case we can't get a silo right now. We can at least store stuff in it. Change the plate up a tiny bit from the other one. There we go. So we got that. And then we needed, and we can always buy another one of these to, uh, to increase our, uh, hauling capacity later on down the road. And then we needed, oh, a... Yeah, I looked for different um, stump grinders. I couldn't find any. So the cheapest one there is, is this one here. Guess we're going with this one. Oh, yeah, and a weight probably would be a good idea, huh? Okay, but we'll get a different weight. Uh, 
Oh, we don't have enough money. Shoot. Oh, well, that sucks. Well, I guess we we're going to be utilizing our brand new trailer. We've got to bring back a couple trees. I don't know what I was thinking. Now these tires are getting completely covered in snow. Oh, ah. that was kind of cool. Slid down the hill in the snow. Drop this off first. Drop that off. Kicking the snow up off the tires. That's kind of cool. Alright, guys, I've been playing this for a while, but I never noticed some of this stuff. Must be new updates or new with the tractor mods or something. Alright, well, I'll see you back over here with the trailer when we're uh, getting ready to load trees. They look good together. And the trailer tires are starting to build up with snow too. We're almost back to the yard. Oops. All right, let's not hit trees. <laughs> it's almost too fun. Alright, so I'm not 100% sure where I want to take some trees out at. Thinking it probably wouldn't hurt anything to clear all of these out. And I don't think I'm going to make this a flatbed. I think I'm just going to throw the stumps in the back of, or the uh, pieces of a uh, lump of wood, whatever, in the back of this uh, trailer. We'll just start with this big tree here, and we'll get a, hopefully we can get two or three in there. Now we can't use the van. Um, how do we untarp this? In? Yep, okay. Let me turn this off and then we'll uh, start it in the cold. I 
I wasn't planning on cutting trees first thing, but... buy the rest of the equipment to get really get started there's also uh, I think we can sell our cedar I want to get a bigger uh, cedar one that's a direct drill as well and it'll hold fertilizer I'm sure you guys have seen it before Let's see if we can just throw these in the back. They didn't fall through. Nope. Good. Alrighty. This one this one should. But alright guys, I'm gonna uh oh we had a log fall out. Huh. Well, how'd that happen? I'm gonna go ahead and get uh couple more cut down and, and then um I'll meet you up there at the cell point all right guys we're back we're up here at the cell point this log just fell out when I stopped so just throw it make sure it's in the cell point oh and I had another another one fall out 35.54 for two trees. That's enough to buy it. Uh, just barely. What is it? 24.500? Let's just double check real quick. Yeah, might as well just buy it. The good thing is we don't have any... We don't have anything but like a sixty dollar, uh, like uh, I don't know, power fee or maintenance or tent or something, property fee. Um, we don't own any loan interest or anything overnight. So what I'm getting at is we spent all of our money and we're not gonna have to pay a bunch of cash. But I do want to. Oops. I didn't want to destroy our new stump grinder. Okay. But I did want to check this real quick. Where's our cedar? So 47.55. It's essentially brand new. It's only got one and a half out 1.2 hours on it and I wanted to get the trusty John Deere um, $83.50 this one's six meters you know it does the seed fertilizer and direct drills so I think we're going to go with that just because our fields are larger now. So we'll sell that. We need to bring one more tree over and then we can pick this up. And then we can get to work on stumps. And then the silage, I didn't check on that. Um, this trailer essentially holds the same amount as our uh, loading wagon, so. There was a way that we could fill this up and that, and then we could bring 16,000 liters at a time down. 
but I think we'll still have, I don't think we can sell any silage till March. Um, we'll have to check on it. And now we can start uh, clearing the stumps in the land that we, uh, first of all, want to grow into or make fields in and we can clear the stumps around the, the forested area where I want to put some more trees in. I want to put the snow pines, they're just a lot taller, straighter and you know, just less branches to deal with. Apparently the snow is not going away anytime soon. Oh, it is silage. Okay, well. Hmm. What is silage at right now? Oh, it's at its peak. 189. Well, that kind of changed the whole uh, game plan for today, then. We can sell this and buy our... We can sell some of this and buy our cedar. We're going to sell the other cedar. Okay, well, let's take uh, as much of this down as we can. I'll, um, we're going to need the cedar seed fertilizer. Oh, we still have to lime that field. We're going to need more lime. Just park this trailer right here by the shop trigger. And we'll stay a little bit out of it because we got to repair that cedar. You know we got to go over here and play with this real quick. Sometimes if you just hover over them, it'll delete them. See? Without tearing up your ground. Yeah. And I'm quite confident we will find the rest when we uh, plow the field.
right there we missed, but I want to get the ones out of here. This is who oh, I missed a tree. They're going to be under the snow. Kind of hoping they'd be sticking out for us. These two. Oh, that's where the tractor was parked. Okay. This is the one big tree that we just cut down. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that here because once the snow melts and we'll be able to find the tree stumps. But now let's get down here and we'll sell some silage Get this hooked up because we'll sell this while we're down there. We gotta unload it, which is high. There we go. Oh yeah, we're going to have to bring the other tractor over with the bucket. So, open silos are So we'll get this down and then we'll um, get the other tractor over there. It's kind of a good thing that we got all that uh, silage in there. This is a way to make money during the winter right now and 
gives us something to do. I mean, we can plow in uh, the grass field that we're going to do. We can start the area that we just cleared the, the stumps in. We can start plowing that to extend that field. I'm not sure if I'm just going to make one awkwardly shaped field. Um... or how we're gonna do it yet. guys we got a couple uh, loads taken down I'll continue to sell um, some more in between episodes but I kind of wanted to get a little bit of plowing done um, on the grass field and once we once we get that plowing done and get it seeded with grass there's not going to be a ton more plowing back to back to back. I mean, we'll clearly expand fields and we'll plow little bits here and there, but nothing like these bigger fields that we've been doing. Um, we will expand some fields, but we've got to get that grass going and we need to work on. And I don't mind having a silage pit. Maybe we can keep the silage pit for cows when we get them. Um, and then just bail uh, everything else because we are going to need hay we're going to need a baler for the straw so let's just park this here for now you know we never checked this I'm assuming this let's see can't really say that this is going to be the yellow stuff when part of this field was blue and was the uh, blue, the sandy stuff, and and uh, loam, sandy loam and loam, or loamy sand and loam. So let's uh. Get a little bit of this field worked on. I might run this field down into this section, but right now I'm I want to focus more on this area here, and this may become farmyard at some point. But right now it's going to become a grass field. So let's. Um, I forgot. Why is Loud Creek Fields? Okay. 
let's start here and we'll just kind of loop this around like I said I'm not going to take out trees right now we'll just plow and plant around them for the time being I'm even thinking Probably cut here. Just get, give us a decent size grass field. We'll get rid of all these bushes. It'll make this area look just a little cleaner. you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next survival episode all right later guys